We have a brand new Easy Huge in update 10 of Pet Simulator 99, and this is only going to further that huge deflation that we've been seeing this past week. As you can see, at the time of recording this video, it's only been four hours into the update, and we already have over 4,000 of these huges in the game. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the update in general, as well as how you can get this huge for yourself and the impact that it's gonna have on the market. If this video helps you out, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel as we do cover all sorts of Pet Simulator 99 content as well as the market to help you trade and do better. Without further ado, let's get right into it and cover what Update 10 has to offer for the game. All right, you guys, so first of all, we can actually just look at these update logs because there really isn't much to it. Basically, what this update brings is the new backrooms event so we can only assume that this is going to last for the week now they do not specify a date so we don't know when this event will end but we can only assume that all of these pets and all of these stuff in these back rooms are only going to be available for this week and besides the back rooms themselves we also got a new addition to the exclusive shop which is the back rooms pack now it seems like this is exactly like the forever pack it just has stuff that pertains exactly to the back rooms now personally i don't spend robux on this game the only robux i spend is for the game passes so i will not be purchasing this but as you can see it comes with stuff like the blue cat the blue cat exclusive these new exclusive enchants that you actually can't buy in the store at all uh, they actually removed that one orb enchant that was in here, but nobody bought it. Now, the first exclusive enchant is basically just another one of those orb enchants that gives you a little buddy that fires balls of terror at nearby breakables. And then we also have this corruption one that supposedly enables you to increase the amount of damage that you do to breakables by corrupting them. I haven't personally been able to test either one of these, but I'm sure neither one of them are that good. I specifically do want to test how much damage you are able to do with this corruption one though, because it sounds kind of cool. And I just did that video on how to do the max amount of damage in the game. This could potentially change how that is done. Besides Besides that, we also have the Night Terror Hoverboard, the Night Terror Booth, as well as the Nightmare Ultimate. Now, I did say this Plague Dragon is actually an easy huge, but honestly, it's not that easy. I personally haven't been able to get one, but as you can see, over 4,000 people at the time of recording this, and probably even more by the time this is uploaded, have been opened already. And to put that into perspective, all of the active huges, the three active huges that can be hatched from the last egg here, Usually 6,000 of these are opened in a 24 hour period. So if we continue opening these plague dragons at the same rate that we have been so far, then we potentially could see upwards of 20,000 plus huges open today. And that's actually an insane amount of huges to be opened in one day. And that's why this is likely going to cause even more deflation for the huges that we've been seeing. Besides these new huges and the active huges, we also have the other huges that you can get pretty easily nowadays from stuff like the crystal chest and the tech chest and even these glitched gifts. I'll have on the screen here the amount of these huges that have been opened in the past 24 hours. All of this combined is just likely to increase the overall quantity of huges in the market, which is what typically has been bringing down the overall prices. On the other side of that, we also have this from Big Games, where they said that they finally fixed the glittering charms on huge pets. Now, personally, I think this actually has been fixed for a few days now, but the fact that they announced this means that more people are going to be applying them back to their huges and going to be making a ton more diamonds so this also could potentially have an effect on the market but we'll have to see and they also said here that they fixed the vip server and now allow you to join your friends on there personally this hasn't worked for me yet so you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments if this works for you now i'm gonna do a little demonstration and explanation on how you guys yourselves can get some of these new huge plague dragons now in the backrooms event you can only use 10 pets so you're going to want to equip your best 10 pets that you have. So these are my best 10 pets and you're also going to want to pick them manually like this because there is kind of a glitch when you go in there. It doesn't actually pick your best 10 pets. So I don't know what that's about. 
And also, I'm not sure if this is a visual bug, but the glitch where if you put the shiny flag out here in the outside area, seems like it still does carry over into the back room. So I'm not sure if this actually does increase your damage or not, but it's just something you might as well do even if it doesn't. So as you can see, when I get in here, it does show that all of my huges are still shiny. Now, if you don't have auto farm, the back rooms area might be a little annoying for you because you're going to have to stock up on a ton of coins before you even find the door to start opening but if you do have auto farm you're just gonna immediately want to turn that on and you can open eggs here and you for sure can get the plague dragon from this egg but if i were you guys i would most definitely go and look for one of these 100x eggs because this will give you a lot better chance so as you can see here, right here is a 3x, so you could do that if you just didn't want to keep looking. But what you're going to want to look for in this area is a locked door, because behind that locked door is where you can get the 50, 75, and even 100x eggs. And I did have a ton of people asking me if there is some sort of map or something they could follow to find the rooms for this. Well, I just turned the corner and found the first locked door. But basically, my only suggestion that I can tell you guys is that you're going to want to pick a direction and just run straight forward. That's personally how I do it. And if my route ends, I just turn left every time and just keep going straight for as long as I can. And that way, I don't end up getting myself in a turnaround where I just keep going to the same area. Now, that's personally worked for me. There isn't really a right way to do this. Now, unlucky to us, this is not one of the 100x egg rooms, but this is the diamond room where you can get a ton of free diamonds. So not too bad. I'll take these. Now keep in mind that when you get to those doors, you do need one of these keys and you can get a ton of these keys by just breaking breakables. So if you're using auto farm, you should get these keys pretty easily. But if not, you do have to keep grinding and stack up your coins and get as many keys as possible. We did find this 15 X huge chance egg, which honestly isn't that bad because you could just sit here forever and do it. The higher odd eggs, like the 50X, 75X, and even 100X all have a timer on them. So I'm pretty sure you can only open them for the max amount of time, which is an hour. I'll have a picture on the screen here now of the odds to actually get this plague dragon and you can decide for yourself which egg you would like to open you have a lot higher of a chance on the higher tier eggs so if i were you i would at least try to find one of these 50 175 x eggs because it will be a lot easier to get this huge and like i said just keep running in a straight line and if your path ends that's when you're going to want to turn because if you don't do it like that you're just going to find yourself going in a loop now i'm pretty unlucky and i don't want to keep looking for this right now but i think you guys get the idea there's no trick or method to this you really just got to get lucky with your setup in these back rooms. So if you really want this huge, don't give up. Keep walking. Keep looking for that locked room. And besides all that, we will also likely see some pretty significant deflation with the black hole eggs specifically. As you can see, they've already dropped almost 3 million diamonds since the update came out just a few hours ago. Now, the reasoning behind this is because we did get a lot of players coming back to the game for the update. And they introduced this new backrooms pack, which actually does contain a ton of these black hole eggs. And for that reason is why we're going to get a huge quantity of these things being bought. And there will just be too much supply of them on the market. And that's why the prices will likely fall. And besides that, we already have this huge blue cat, which has 3000 in existence already in just a few hours. So that combined with this plague dragon, which is currently at almost 4600. That's 7,000 new huges in the first four hours of the update. And of course, that doesn't even include all of the ones that people are probably getting from opening the black hole eggs themselves. All of this comes together to just further drop the prices more than we've even seen before. In the wrap update that we just saw about an hour ago, we did see the prices of the happy computer and the happy rock go up by about 100k but nothing too significant. So we're going to have to see how the market reacts. But overall though, if we do continue to get the same amount of huges being opened that we have been in the past few hours, I don't see how the prices of these happy rocks and happy computers could go anywhere but down. Overall though, that is pretty much it from the update. Honestly, it wasn't that bad of an update for it being their new weekly schedule. So honestly, it's a decent amount of content and I am surprised that they figured out a way or an excuse to basically add a new forever pack into the game i'm sure they're making a ton of money off this pack 
So props to them for figuring out a way to do this. I'm sure this is something that we're going to be seeing in a lot of future updates because they did say that there's going to be new themes each week for each of these updates. So they could potentially be putting in a new forever pack for each of these themes. So we're going to have to wait and see on that. Overall, though, let me know what you think about this update in the comment section down below. I'll try to reply to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.